How's it going guys? This is Joshua from Multiball Online Instructors. Today I'm going to be doing the integral from minus 2 to 1 of the floor function of x plus 1. And if you saw in the video before, it was just x. But today I'm going to do x plus 1. So let's start with again with the definition. It is equivalent to say that the floor function of f of x equals an integer m if and only if m is less than or equal than f of x less than m plus 1. Realize here that f of x in this case is what? It's x plus 1. Okay, so our values in a, f of x is x plus 1, but our values in x is dependent from the limits of integration. So we know that by limits of integration, we have to start from minus 2 to x less than something. Now before I have that something, I need to make sure that, the in that this interval will give me a, uh, an integer in this interval, okay? Now, what is the function? It's x plus 1. Okay, so if I add 1 to x, in this case, we get minus 1. And if I add minus 1 to 1, I get 0. So here, I'm, I'm, I'm okay if I write minus 1 because minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Okay, so we're in the correct interval for, for x and for f of x. Now, what is the value? Well, it's the lowest one, so it's minus one in this case. Now let's go to the next one. Here I need zero, x plus one, and one. And this, for this interval, that's gonna happen in minus one, x, and zero. And the value is zero. And we keep going. Here we need one, x plus 1, 2. And that's going to happen in the interval 0 and 1. And the value is 1. Remember, we got to stop until the last interval. So this is our last interval here, 1. Okay? And the value 1. Now we translate that to the integral. So we have that that integral this integral becomes what? Becomes the integral. Now we choose these intervals for the limits of integration. So it's going to be from minus 2 to minus 1 of, a, of f of x plus from minus 1 to 0 again. plus 0 to 1 of x plus 1, okay? Now, once we've separated into these intervals, we, we're going to uh, put the values of, this, uh, of these values here into each interval. So this becomes minus 2 to minus 1, x plus 1 in this interval is minus 1. Minus 1 to 0. x plus 1 in that interval is 0. And 0 to 1. In that interval, the value is 1. Okay, and now we integrate. So we have that if that's equal to minus x evaluated from minus 2 to minus 1 plus 0x evaluated from minus 1 to, to 0, plus x evaluated from 0 to 1. Now this minus is going to be minus 1 plus 2, plus 0 times 0 plus 1, plus x times 1 minus 0, right? This is zero again. This is gonna be negative one plus zero 
whoops there's this X here that shouldn't be there sorry about that okay now continue this is gonna be plus one so minus one plus one is equal to zero and that's the value of the integral thanks again for watching guys this is Joshua from Motivile